So after downloading the Meta Ads, you open the app. You open the account. You already know how to how you can actually deposit money on the app. So the deposit just come to your setting. Click on pay in your payment. On this app payment, you click on add fund. Now, once you click on add fund, make sure to use your NERA payment to MasterCard and then you click on the amounts and then you click on next. So after clicking on next, it will ask you where um, to take it to your main browser. It's time to now ask you to choose a browser. So you select Chrome. So let me use always select Chrome. Whatever browser you are using is up to you. So now once you select Chrome, it will now ask you to um, if you want to use your local card, which is the PayU system, click on continue. So you click on continue. Now once you click on continue. Then ask you to fill your card detail. So I'm not doing any, I'm not paying anything right now, but your card number, those long number you put it here, your the card name you put it here, your um the dates in the cards, the year, then you click on pay now. So that's it. So after paying, your money will be deposited on your Facebook ads account. So it will not be deposited on this account. So let me go back to Facebook ads. So now you now have the money here. So then to run advertisements on Facebook, you come to this green part, either you click plus here, or you click this create sign. So now if you click this create sign, what do you want to run your ad for? Won't they matter? If you want people to message you, you can click on post engagement. If you want awareness, where people can reach out to you and actually it tells you uh, probably watch your video or people get to know your brand, click on awareness. If you want traffic, you want to send people to your website or landing page, click on traffic. You want leads, you want to collect leads for your business or forms, people to fee forms, use leads. If you want sales, so if you are an e-commerce business and want to sell something, click on sales. If you want to promote your application, assume you have an application, you click on app promotion. So for now, you want to run a video, you want to make people to watch a certain video, you want to promote a music video. So you click on awareness. Now on this awareness, you want to rename the campaign name. So let's call this, let's call it video ad, video ad, so now we call it video ad, go back, it's already saved, now is there any ad category, there's no special category, now this category, if you open it on your PC, you see if it's employment ads, um, employment ad, video ad, uh, no sorry, employment ad, real estate ad, political ad, so for this you don't have to turn this on. Just go back then how much is your budget how much are you spending for the ads so this budget actually talks about how much you're spending per day for that ads but so this is the highest volume you can reduce it to lowest or bit cap or you can just set it to yourself so let's assume you want to be spending 1000 every day you say 1000 every day it's done so now this is telling you that budget is too small the campaign budget is too small so you have to make it something big. One five. Let's do one five. One five every day is okay. So you go back, click back on your phone. Then you click next. Now we now ask you to set another ad name. So I, I like calling it the same name as that first one. So I'm gonna call it video ad. So video ads. Now I'll go back. Now it's not ask you conversion. That's conversion means of uh, where does he want to run the ads from? Do you have a Facebook page? So if you have a series of Facebook pages, it will show up here. But since this is one Facebook page, so you click on it and it will automatically use it. So when do you want the ads to start? What days are you, do you want the ad to start to schedule it? You can run an ad for next week. You just schedule it from here. You understand? So what is that? So now audience. From how many years do you want to be able to see that video? Now you know people are from 13 years, 12 years, they are 12 years on Facebook. So you can actually run out to a certain age range. So you can for this one now, Facebook will automatically put you from 18 to 65. So you can actually choose from then and do any other one. Or you can change it actually. For Facebook age range starts from 13. So you can change you can use from 13, it's up to you. Then now I was telling you about targeting. 
and this is where it targets location. We set the location to since um, this is Pini City, I would like I can move this one from back here. Search location Pini so Pini City or Edo Edo State. So we look for a reason is Loredo State. The Edo is captured later. I don't know here, so you can use here. Okay, once that's done, you click on save. So you actually have it on only those sticks to carry auto it Now, look at that thing. Um, so detail targeting. Do you want to target specific people? You want to remove some people and include some people. So you can use this. You can add interest and behavior. So for example, you could add a um, music asset and interest. Music, so that people are interested in the music, we need to add them as interest. Understand? So now, when that is done, click on the language gender. Do you want to go male and female to be able to see it? So, yes, we want that. So, so you have performance is too specific, you have estimate of 1200. It's fine now. Placement. You want it to show on Facebook has four platforms or three platforms. So do you want it to show on all of them or you want to set it to some? So it's better you put it on all of them so that Facebook can be changing it, which of them is okay, which of them is not. So once you're done, you click next. And this is the last part. Do you want um, the creative mini uh, those images that they write on Facebook are those information? Or if you already have it as a post on your profile. Facebook page. Just come here, click on existing post. Now go back. So it's not asked to choose the posts. So this is that in that video. So it's not a kick. So add creative, add creative. What do you want people to do when they watch it? I could say okay, I want them to follow me. So you can choose any of them here. It's time to see my request time, get show contact or subscribe. Apply now, call button, sign up, listen up, book, shop now. So, I want them to subscribe to Facebook page. So, that's it. Then you click on review. Now, when you click on review, meaning you should want it to be posted. So, that's it. After this is the last part, you click on it and they will post it. Review everything and then click on publish. So, let's see. I'll show you here how the ad will look like. So everything you set. So let me see. Now. Okay, so because your phone cannot load it easily, so that's why it's slow like this. So now on um, Facebook page, remember we okay we mistake touch book now. So you can actually change this part from that part. So this is how it is show on people's story. This is how it show on um the uh, mobile native. And this one's this one's not working properly, so they won't display it here. This is how it is show on Facebook feed, is our feed. That's why you can run out. As I don't read any mistake, for example, that's a book now. Come here, it's post. The post was okay. Add creative. So you can actually choose a different one. So this is where we choose that send message. This send message, add creative it again. So, but once, once you see it's okay, just go back. Once it's okay, you click on publish now. Understand? So that's why you can easily run for it.